Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and intuitive life coach. If you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you will find my information to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit the notification bell um, so you can be updated the next time I post a video. So today's um, messages start off with a new romantic cycle and you are good enough. So today I feel like this is a self-worth issue, okay? And I say that because I feel um, like a lot of people are, you know, on the defense. I think that they have been battle-worn and wounded from past relationships. And I feel like they're afraid of putting themselves out there for new relationships. I think that they have been, you guys have been trying to you know, really have patience and go through the healing process. But I, I'm looking at these cards like this and right underneath the temperance card is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is your cup runneth over. Um, this is also finding peace. This is a gift from the divine. And if you look right here, you can see that this angel is has been sent to you. This angel is blessing you, okay? This angel is helping you with your healing process. And they're pouring from these cups this is all about alchemy all right it's all about the blending of these cups so I do feel like with the new romantic cycle begins um, and this could have something to do with a Libra and a Virgo here I do see that I see Leo I see uh, also Sagittarius so those are the um, signs that I'm seeing for today it doesn't have to be like I've said but it could have a special message in it for any one of those signs so I do feel like you know maybe in the past you felt like you weren't good enough for this relationship and so I do feel like you kind of took a step back um, I do want to say that you took a step back and you um, needed to go out and find the courage okay to um, to move forward in this. I think that in order to do so, you needed to heal. And now you're being asked, there's a judgment call, okay? So when the judgment shows up, it's saying, it, this is the final horn. Are you going to allow yourself to be loved Okay, or are you going to stay where with where you are? The universe is like pushing you two together. Okay, so I feel like if you're seeing signs and synchronicities, you need to know that this union is blessed by the divine. When I see the angels show up here, uh, and, and like I said, this does not only have to be romantic. I think that this is a business partnership. I think that this is a lot of different things. Um, but I feel like what has been dead and gone needs to be brought back to life in this. If you have the strength to do that. Um, I feel like some of you guys are trying to tame that beast from within. Because whenever I see the strength card, I know that the devil card is nearby. And the devil is your fear, okay? Your fear of not being good enough. Your fear of not being worthy of love and I've seen this before so people um, somebody with the initials uh, W or M okay could be significant um, this is also the sign of peace this is the sign of, of it's all about love it's also the the 11 11 card okay because you see how it's coming down the pillars the 11 11 so 11 11 might be significant for you as well um, I do feel like um, there is love here. It's just you have to be willing to work through the fear, the fears of not being loved. And that's funny because it says new moon in Scorpio. And in the next couple of days, we have the full moon in Scorpio. So I do feel like this could also be a timing card. You're just going to have to get over the fear of being unlovable and the fear of um, not being worthy okay so I do feel like with the temperance cards you've had to have a lot of patience um, with this individual I feel like you know you have really persevered because this card is all about perseverance this person is battle worn they're exhausted they've got a bandage on their head they've been beaten they've been battered um, you know in the past but this person is still standing here still protecting what he knows to be true protecting his you know each one of these wands is significant of about an area of his life okay so I do see here in this reading you do have two angels okay so I feel like today you need to realize that your guides and your angels really are with you at this time 
I do feel like help is on the way. There's the international symbol of, uh, what is it, the American Red Cross. So I do feel like help is here if you need it. Um, ask your guides and angels for them to help you. Um, and I feel like the, the divine is going to extend that offer. The thing is, you guys, when working with your angels, um, you have to understand that um, you have to ask for their help. We have this thing called human free will. So um, it's one thing to be like, you know, to have all these needs and wants and desires, but it's another thing to say, you know, guides, angels, ancestors, universe, divine, um, you know, archangels, I need help. But then you've got to give them the time to, to, to go out and, and, and blend whatever it is that you need and the alchemy to bring around the person that you, that can help you or bring about the situation or align you, you know, say you get a call to, you know, go to a friend's house and somebody shows up at that friend's house that actually has the answers to what you need but that person wasn't even supposed to be there um, that's how the universe works when working with your guides and your angels so the universe if you're looking for a relationship say the universe you know you tell the guides and angels you know i'm, I'm really looking for a, a, a romantic relationship then you put it out to the divine and then all of a sudden you get into a fender bender and instead of getting pissed off at the guy behind you it was the universe's way of saying here you go and now he got out and gave you his number you know it's not for you to be angry it's for you to get this guy's number um you know very seldom it's the ups guy i mean it can be if it's in your chart to have the ups guy be that happily ever after but you also have to step out of your comfort zone okay so and you have to get out of your fear all right so I do feel like you're gonna have to tame that beast and sometimes you know we need to learn how to um, to like I said here have faith especially when you've got these angels here um, I do feel like um, like I said, I, I do feel like it's a self-worth issue um, with you guys. Um, <clears throat> and you're going to have to have the strength and courage to know that you are an infinite being and the universe isn't going to bring around anything that um, you're not supposed to have. So I do feel like if there has been a relationship that has been like dead and gone and um, you're being asked to revive it if you want to and realize that you are worthy of this new romantic cycle, okay? Um, same thing with a business partnership. So, um, but it needs to be somebody, it's, it's somebody that you've already known, somebody you've already been with in the past. Um, I, this is not a new person. Okay. I am not seeing a new person here. Um, I'm saying that if you want, you can manifest a new person, but if anybody comes back in, this is going to be somebody that you have already dealt with. Um, I do not see this as a new person. Spirit, please show me. And the fact that these are all major arcanas, I do not see it happening like completely on this day. It could be initiated. Maybe the thoughts are initiated on this day. Um, but, and I see that you, this person is going to have the, have to have the strength and courage to be able to move it forward. Okay. So that is entirely up to the other person and yourself and whether or not you want to go back to this. If you've already healed from it, um, you know, you need to remember why it is that you left in the first place. Okay. So with that said, yeah, building blocks. I think that, and the number 28 could be significant in your own personal life. Um, it could be 28 days. Maybe you were born on the 28th. Uh, and two plus eight is also a 10. So that's, and it breaks down into a one, which is the ace, which is all about new beginnings. But the building blocks is all about learning how, you know, some people have built blocks around them, built walls, because that's what I'm kind of seeing is her building up these walls. And I think that what you're being asked to do is tear these walls down. Okay. I think that you have built these blocks around you for your own safety and security. But I also feel like it's time to, um, you know, if you've been going through the healing process and you can trust in the divine and trust that you are good enough for this love um, and you really want this relationship, I think that it's time to tear down these walls. Also with the building blocks, I think that, you know, somebody has come to the realization that they can build a future with you. So I do see that here as well. Um, I do feel like but you're going to have to work work through your fears. Um, so obviously this kind of feels like it turned into a love reading right out the gate. 
Um, but again, you know, love is not just uh, romantic, as I, you've heard me say, and you're gonna hear me say it a million more times. Um, it's love in anything, okay? Uh, business partners, family, whatever. But I think that somebody is very protective and, and just wounded. <laughs> cards oh, here we go yeah okay yeah so this could be the one all right you've already met the romantic partner you seek so it goes back to what i said this is not a new person this is somebody that you have already been working with somebody that you already know okay so this is you know in any relationship i feel like you need to realize that um you know it's okay to break down these walls this person is here to help you heal okay but there is a judgment call that is being made right now 11 11 i just saw on my phone so i do want to say that there but this could be the one i do feel look at all these little angels look at these cherubs they are blessing this union just like i said here you've got so many angels that are here right now that are telling you that this is the one and they're guiding the two of you to be together so um and and like i said this purse this is a gift from the divine this is here to bring balance back into your life so i do want to say don't miss out on this beautiful opportunity um you're just going to have to get over your fears and I'm getting an um like I'm getting uh goosebumps I'm feeling very just warm right now okay as I'm saying this and it almost kind of is heavy it makes me want to cry um because I feel like you know you've had a really tough time believing that somebody could love you as much as you deserve to be loved okay and that is in every area of your life you know maybe working at a job that you've worked at jobs where you have never been appreciated and for the first time in your life you're at in a place where you are you are finally getting that that um that reciprocity that you deserve so i do feel like um this is something that is in the works um and i i just it's so beautiful I think that you guys, if you have been, you know, if there was an argument in the past, you guys need to forgive and learn from past mistakes. If there was an argument in the past, which I do see here, and that's why the temperance card is here, it's here for healing, and that's why this person is battle-worn, okay? And there's a final judgment being called for you to take action, and you're going to have to have the courage and the wherewithal to be able to move forward past your fears into this new romantic cycle, realizing that the universe is saying that you are good enough that you are worthy and this is the person that you are supposed to be with okay um as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments okay so you guys this is such a beautiful reading today i just want to say thank you so much for being here if this sounds like your story please feel free to uh check the description box down below there you will find my information to schedule a reading um, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know how this, uh, this is working out for you. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. And for those of you who are, you know, choosing to be loved, you know what? You deserve it. You are worthy. We all are worthy of love, even when we feel like we're not. Um, just know that I love you guys my, and I hope that you have a beautiful day and thanks for being here. You take care. Bye-bye.